Elliot, how you doing? I'm doing well. Fell. Million dollars. Six cents are sliding. Motor runs at the engine. For 20% increase in bus service. Oh. The elevator. And to fix the MTA. For just 1.5%. All the stations. In the world. In the world. There's no elevator. Ooh, we need to walk up three flights of stairs. So and we come here. And there's no train waiting for us. How'd it go? This is an everyday occurrence. Who won? Who won? Tell us how you feel after this auspicious moment. I feel exhausted. I feel like every other New Yorker who runs all the way up the stairs to find that the train is not even there yet. We need to fix this in Albany so no one else has to become. Did you uh, take the escalator, sir? No. Who I took, took the, the stairs. Escalator? This woman did. I think, I think yeah. Bobby took the easiest route over there. I thought the rule was the stairs. That's what I follow the rules. All right. But, What's your name, please? My name is Zahran Mamani. I'm the assembly member for the 36th district. And this finally proves that Queens is better than Brooklyn. I'll show you your number. Thank you. 36. What's the prize? 36 in the map, number one today. I'm Danny Perlstein. I'm the Policy and Communications Director at the Riders Alliance. We're out here today with our subway sprint because riders should not have to race to catch a train out of fear that the next one is 12, 15, 20 minutes away. We need six minute service. We need an investment, a targeted new investment in the next state budget due April 1st to provide service at least every six minutes throughout the day, seven days a week on trains and many bus routes. Nine is a record setting station. Riders in this neighborhood have the hardest struggle to climb all the way up 90 feet above the street to catch an F or a G train. And if they miss it, again, they might be waiting 12 or 15 minutes. That's not equitable. That's not better transit than we had before the pandemic. We need to improve upon what we had to draw more people into the system, to lean in harder to the existing infrastructure we have today and make transit trips faster and cut wait times. Okay. We have several elected members of the New York State Legislature here with us today who are going to race up these stairs to dramatize for their leadership, for the governor in Albany, what millions of their constituents have to deal with every single day. Okay, and what does the winner get? The winner will get our undying admiration. We're feeling ready. We wish we didn't have to do this. We feel we didn't have to do that. We wish we didn't have to sprint up the subway. But you're ready to rock. We're ready to rock. We're ready. We're always ready. Uh, probably not me, but I'm going to try. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think. Okay, so we're going to get started. Everyone just bringing in a little bit so we have a clear path for people getting on the train meanwhile. Okay. Grassroots organization of subway and bus riders, and I'm so sorry that we had to bring everybody out here in the cold, but the reason we're here is that it's cold, frankly, and we don't want riders to have to wait any longer than necessary on a cold day like today. Um, I'm sure that Assemblymember Mount Downey knows what it's like when the breeze cuts through Queensboro Plaza, when you just got a freak off a frequent 7 train, you're waiting for an infrequent N train. But what's even worse probably for a lot of people, what is getting worse, is the summer months are getting longer, right? And so Senator Gennardis knows what it's like to stand underneath 4th Avenue for 12 or 15 minutes waiting for an R train when it's utterly sweltering, you know, when it's 110 degrees underground because the sun's beating down on the asphalt. So more frequent subway service and bus service are essential. But in the meantime, while we're working on that, we need a new transit compact because we know that rising rents have pushed people to the far edges of the city where they have longer waits for, with fewer options and many more transfers that add up, right? If you have to transfer from a bus to a bus to a subway and you're waiting 12, 15 minutes each time, that could be longer than the amount of time you're moving. We need a new transit compact to cut those waits to bring you in reason. That's why we're calling for an additional investment of $300 million, you know, with all manner of obstacles and, and burdens on their bags. First, we're gonna bring up Senator Gennardis. All right, thank you, Danny.
I've been carbo loading for a week. <laughs> Don't everyone know. Uh, no one should have to wait on a platform or in a station for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Any New Yorker can tell you that the MTA's crisis extends beyond its operating budget deficit. We have a governor who has termed this transit system world class. But we live in a city where if you ask any New Yorker, they will tell you that waiting 10 minutes for a train, being the only person on a platform, or taking a bus that goes five miles an hour is a sign of a transit system that has been underfunded and undersupported. What we have today is a transit system where I had to bike to the train station because I knew that if I didn't make it there in time, it would be another 20 minutes before I could get here. Limb in life to put your hand or foot through those doors and stop that train because that's the real thing. Good luck to all the competitors. <laughs> Thank you. No New Yorker should have to do this. Tell me your name and title. Spell your name again. Yes, it's uh, Zahran Mamdani, the 36th district. I'm the assembly member. Z O H R A N M A M D A N I.